Welcome, everybody. Good morning. Uh, we are here with Lakshmi, who is going to be speaking about data management platforms and leveraging first-party data. Uh, at the end, we will have a Q&A, so please go ahead and ask any questions that you have uh, in your GoToWebinar dashboard, and we'll take those at the end. But uh, I'm going to hand it off to Lakshmi. Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us today. Well, like Laura just said, we'll be talking about how to efficiently leverage for your first party data uh, within your DMP. We will take that a step further and also look at how you can go about leveraging this data within other marketing channels that you may be utilizing. All right, so let's get started. First off, a little bit about myself. I am Lakshmi Ramesh. I head up the Customer Success uh, Org as well as the Digital Marketing Practice here at Treasure Data and focused really on driving a lot of the marketing initiatives within the company. Uh, three things that I'm super passionate about, first and foremost, data, of course. Uh, my entire career has been based on data savvy roles and um, really interested in um, how you go about driving the most value from your data. Um, second comes, um, you know, advertising and marketing technologies. I uh, spent a good five, five and a half years uh, at an advertising agency trading desk um, setup and got exposed to this um, really intricate and complicated ecosystem um, and has me hooked ever since. I, um, keep on, I, I love to keep on top of um, the latest and greatest um, in the space. And then lastly, um, another thing that I deeply care about um, is really driving businesses to being more customer centric. Uh, responding to customers in a way that truly matters to them. All right, so um, what we're going to be looking to cover in this webinar is firstly, start off defining the different types of data and talk about first party data in particular. What is it? What does it mean? Uh, we'll go into why is first party data valuable? Uh, why should you be paying attention? Um, we'll cover what a DMP platform is, data management platform. We'll cover a bit of the basics of uh, what that platform is, what it's meant to do, what it comprises of. Um, and then we'll segue into how do you go about leveraging first party data into your data management platform and how do you do that effectively, what some of the challenges are to that process. Um, we'll talk a little bit about how people in the marketplace are solving the problem today and what some of the shortfalls may be. And then we'll close with sort of what, in my opinion, is the real solution, the right way of going about this. So talking about what are the different types of data. Um, as most of you may already know, things are segregated into first party, second party, and third party data. Um, and the most important thing to understand is not all this data is created equal. So what is first party data? It is the data that gets directly collected from your company's products and customers. So this can be, as an example, data that you collect from how customers are interacting with your website. It could be data that comes from interactions on your mobile application. It could be CRM data, data about in-store purchases. So this is any and all data that is about your company and its products and how customers are interacting with these products. It's completely owned and controlled by your company and the accuracy of this data is extremely high because it's collected by your company and it's about your consumers. Um, this data is also free because you know it's, it's your data. Um, the second party data is essentially another company's first party data that you may want to contract and use. As an example, it could be data that, about a fitness or health publisher. So audiences that are interacting on a fitness or health website may be interesting for companies like Nike or Fitbit to go target again. So this data, again, because it's another company's first party data, is super accurate but it does come at a price. It does need to be contracted and paid for. The last type is really third-party data. And third-party data is nothing but data that gets aggregated from a wide variety of sources, um, a wide network of publisher sites, and you can buy this data. And the good thing about this data set is that there's lots and lots of it available. 